Yo, what's going on guys? Doug Sensor Martin here. Hope you guys are having a great day. And today I'm gonna show you guys a day in the life, a full day of eating throughout my entire day. I'm really excited for this video because I've done I think one or two of these in the past and you guys did not only like them, but over these years, I've not only learned a lot more about myself, I've learned a lot more about my body, but I've changed a lot of my routines in the gym, outside of the gym, with my diet, with how I eat, with when I eat. And there's so much more information that I wanna share with you guys that I wish I knew at a younger age. All the things I'm going to do in this video are routines and habits that I built over the past 10 years of bodybuilding and working out and I just wish that I had this knowledge earlier in life but I'm happy that I have it now and I just really want to share it with you guys too so before we even get started with any of the workouts I just want to show you guys what we're weighing right now I want this to be brutally honest I want you guys to feel like you're living in my shoes today I weighed 180 pounds two days ago and now look, now I have a camera in my hand, so it's a little bit heavier, honestly, but I'm 186, guys. I went from 180 to 186 in a few days. And you wanna know why? I'll tell you guys why. Because last night, I went crazy on some fried chicken, okay? I had three pieces of fried chicken, I had some french fries, I had three chicken tenders, I had a, a large Pepsi. I went crazy, guys. I had a lot of really good food last night, and I do not regret it one bit. Because you know what? Life is too short, no matter what you're doing. If you're working hard in the gym, if you're working hard on your cardio and your goals, unless you're doing some competition or if you're like a bodybuilding show, what's the point, you know? Like you should be able to live your life and have fun and enjoy it. And I've been really, really disciplined in the gym. I've been really strict in my diet too. But every now and then, if there's like a nice boxing fight or a UFC fight or something like that, I wanna go to town on some good food and enjoy it. And I don't regret it. But you guys are gonna see later in the day, I'm probably gonna drop a few pounds just because of this routine that I've been doing. So. This is kind of nuts, but this is what I'm only eating for breakfast, guys. It's just a simple granola bar. It only has 190 calories in it. It's not really that heavy. In the past, I would never do stuff like this, honestly. I used to always have to eat like a huge chicken and rice meal before I would work out. Once I started doing cardio, especially since my breakup, I just went into the gym and I was like, you know what? I just want to be in the best shape I could be in. Like, I was in a relationship for six and a half years, basically, with two different women, and I, I felt this complacency over me. And I'm like, you know what? No, I, I know I can hit this other level. I know I can just, I can get there. I just got to do it. And I started running, and I just loved it. And it started suppressing my appetite. I didn't need to eat as much. So when I would wake up in the morning, all I would really need is this. I would eat this, go into the gym, run a few miles, and I'd feel great. It's 11.25 almost. We had practice at 2. So we're going to down this granola bar right now. We're going to drink some pre. We're going to head over to the gym. We're going to do some shoulders and arms. We're going to crush this workout. And then we're going to come back and we show you guys everything I eat throughout the day. If you guys are excited, leave a like on this video. Comment down below what you guys are doing, what your goals are. I want to help some of you guys out as well. And and let's just get started and have a great day. All right, so guys, we just finished our shoulder and arm workout. We're finishing up with our cardio right now. And just to show you guys, we're on 7.5 incline. I'm usually on 4.0 speed on the right, but I'm on three because I'm recording right now and it's a little bit too fast for a walk. We're only about, I wanna say like 20% in tower cardio, but I'm gonna have to cut this cardio session short because it is now 12.51 and I have practice at two and it takes 15 minutes to get home. I have to eat as well and I have to upload a video. So a lot of stuff has to get done in this hour and 10 minutes. So I'm probably gonna end up doing a late night jog later tonight after my practice is over. So, so I'm gonna go with my buddy now to get some food. I'm gonna show you guys what I eat post-workout. We're going to this new place I've never been to before, but the type of meal I'm gonna get is gonna be the same as what I would eat at home. So let's go fuel up and let's get ready for our practice. All right guys, I'm with my boy Evan and he's bringing me to this, this new place right now. It's pretty fire, so check we it out. We have the double buffalo chicken. We have a full egg inside of this. We got the Brussels, we got the purple rice. We are going in right now and we're probably overfilling with protein, but for me, that's fine. See, he said that he has the purple rice. I have the exact rice here, guys. I don't know exactly what it is. They said it's black rice and brown rice mixed together. Really I've never lost. had this before. We lost at the derivatives. Yeah, I never had this before, but I'm pretty simple in my food, guys, as you all know. I literally just have a double order of buffalo chicken. Evan recommended the buffalo chicken. They have regular buffalo spicy barbecue, whatever. Try that. I'll try this, guys. We got this with the black and brown rice. Today's probably gonna be like a nine hour day of practice. The game just came out about a week or so ago, and we've been on our grind. We've been looking really good too, so we wanna keep that momentum going. And I'm gonna need something really substantial before this session because my mind when I'm playing this long starts to deteriorate a little bit I need to make sure I'm focused for it so we're gonna try this out real quick my first time eating purple rice according to Evan let's see how this is this looks fire though 
bomb. It's crazy. It tastes like purple rice. Like, <laughs> it tastes like the color purple. It tastes like the color purple. I feel like I'm <laughs> eating like lavender rice, bro. That's Dude, crazy. This is a really good guy. All right, I think I just set a brand new world record for eating a bowl of food. This is just absolutely devoured, guys. And like I said, I'll eat a light breakfast. I'll eat a heavier meal after because I'm going to have a long practice day. So we're going to get home now. We're going to take a quick shower and then we're going to hop on and we're going to practice. All right, guys, I just hopped out of the shower and I'm going to go play in a $150,000 Call of Duty tournament. I'm so excited to play in this. It, it, it's honestly a dream to me. Like, I want to pinch myself because I can't believe that I'm going to go compete in one of these tournaments. But uh, one of the routines I do every single day after I shower is I put on a daily facial moisturizer. And I just got in the habit of doing this about two years ago. I wish I started earlier because when I was a kid, I never forget going into high school, especially when it was cold, like right now in the winter, my face was so dry. I would literally lick my tongue and then start like wiping my cheeks and my nose because of how dry and flaky my skin got. Roast me in the comments, guys. I know some of you guys do it though. Uh, I started getting in the habit of using facial moisturizers a couple years ago. Highly recommend you guys use them as well. Curology actually sent me their facial moisturizer and i really really like this one because it's really easy to put on it feels really good on your skin and honestly it's just a really amazing product and they also sent me their white bottle which is a custom formula and they also sent me a cleanser as well so basically all i had to do was just go online go on curology give them a little bit of my information give them a profile photo of myself give them a side photo of myself so they could see what my skin looks like and then they make a custom formula catered to me and i've been loving using this product i've had it for about a month now i use it every single day after i shower it keeps my skin really smooth it makes my face feel really nice and i know this sounds a little bit weird but when i play call of duty i'm very animated if you guys watch me in my streams i speak a lot my facial muscles are always moving and if i have any dry itchy flaky skin on my face it will take me out of the zone and I will not perform as well as I want to. Like, it's a psychological thing. Like, I want my face to feel clear. I want my face to feel smooth when I'm competing. And Curology is always looking out for me. I really appreciate them. Thank you so much for sponsoring this portion of the video, Curology. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of their products, click the link in the description below. With that being said, guys, I'm going to go play in this $150,000 Call of Duty tournament. Then I'm going to show you guys what I eat for dinner and what I eat after dinner. I think you guys are really going to like it. Let's do it. So, guys, it's now 6 p.m. and I just finished my two practice sessions with my team and I'm gonna make this meal because we have like a little 30 minute break or so before we have our last practice so anyways guys this is one of my go-to's highly highly recommend this right here guys I have this bread it's 21 whole grains it's like five grams of protein five grams of fiber really good I have this every single day with this lightly breaded chicken I'm gonna show you guys actually the bag I get this from my local Costco if you guys have any like wholesale places near you this is nice because this is already pre-cooked and for somebody like me who's always on the go and not really that much time in my life to be cooking every single day um this works really well i just defrost this in the fridge and then the next day i can just put it in the microwave so i'll take about six pieces of this around three to four ounces i would say with this bread and then i use two slices of freshly sliced mozzarella cheese and i make sandwiches with it so let's do it sandwich guys is that the bread is 110 calories per slice so that's 220 calories the slices of cheese are 70 calories each so that's 140 calories so you're looking at 220 plus 140 that's about 360 calories then you have the chicken i'll say the chicken's about 200 calories so this sandwich is a little bit under 600 calories and i'll eat this once sometimes twice a day and it keeps me really full and energized and the best part about it it cost me like two dollars you know you buy this in wholesale you buy it bulk and you kind of just store it up in your refrigerator your freezer the cheese lasts for like six weeks to eight weeks so you don't have to worry about that expiring the bread goes a little bit quicker and then the chicken you obviously just keep in the freezer and you constantly defrost it so being somebody who's always busy i'm literally on call 24 7 working right i don't really have too much time to cook i don't really have too much time to sit down and make meals this only takes me about three minutes to make and it tastes delicious so i'm just gonna chow down on this right now right before our last practice of the day and then i'll show you guys what i do after practice for my final meal of the day which i think you guys are going to be really happy about and if you guys try any of the food that i'm doing in this video other than the lunch that i had because obviously that's at a restaurant this is one of my go-to's and then what i'm gonna have later is one of my go-to's these are so cheap delicious tasty and i've been seeing amazing results on this food that i've been having for the past couple of months so 
Let's chow down. So I'm done with practice for the day, guys, and I'm gonna have my final meal. I don't even know if you would call this a meal. It's an organic fruit smoothie, and it is absolutely delicious. It's about 400 calories, and what I use is I go to my wholesale place, and I just buy a bunch of these bags. It comes with six pouches of these. 100 calories, three grams of protein, 12 grams of sugar, seven grams of fiber, 24 grams of carbs, and it has strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, kale, spinach, and bananas. And these are absolutely amazing. So this is what it kind of looks like here. I also do a cup of this oat milk, which is just 45 calories, one gram of protein, zero grams of sugars, eight grams of carbs, one gram of fiber. So it's, it's really, I personally love oat milk. I like it better than almond milk. And then I do two scoops of whey protein, which is 120 calories. Um, I believe it's 24 grams of protein, one gram of sugar, four grams of carbs. So this is really solid. It's about 380 calories. We're gonna make this. This is the last thing we're gonna have for the day. This is gonna keep us nice and full throughout the night. It digests pretty quickly as well. You have all the antioxidants from the berries. You have the kale and the spinach for the digestion and the fiber. It's just honestly one of my favorite things. I have this every single day, guys. Look at all these frozen berries here, man. Ooh. So just a random side note, guys, when you're making this smoothie, the berries are really, really hard to break up, at least with the brand that I use. So I usually put it on like a very low setting for about 30 seconds. And then I'll do the rest of the smoothie on high for about a minute and a half. So I do a two minute blend, which is usually a long time, but because of how much stuff is in this, it kind of makes more sense because if I don't do that, then all the berries are kind of just frozen. And you're kind of just literally eating chunks of berries in a smoothie, which isn't that fun. So I'm just gonna put this in the sink. I have a little bit extra and uh, this is about to overflow. So let's just drink this real quick. Ah, that is delicious, man. I'm telling you guys right now from experience, I am the pickiest person on the planet and I find it really difficult to find healthy foods or healthy meals throughout a day that tastes good as well. So what I end up usually doing is I'll eat the plainest food. Like for example, guys, I'll just show you my refrigerator real quick because I'm sure a lot of you guys want to know what I have in my refrigerator as well. I literally just have water, Frank's Red Hot Sauce, some like chicken seasoning, which I haven't used, uh, oat milk, ketchup, A1 steak sauce, cheese. I got some pasta here from the other day. I have some chicken and then look, like I'll literally just do this, guys. This is another thing I eat too, but I'm just not having this today. I'll literally just take this chicken. It's the plainest form of chicken, just some steamed chicken with some brown rice and I'll put some Frank's Red Hot Sauce on it. And to me, like this is a really good way of eating something that's healthy and also having some flavor because of the hot sauce. But honestly, man, like I usually struggle with trying to find things that taste really, really good. So that's that's why I like to do the sliced mozzarella cheese with the sandwich. That's why I like to do the lightly breaded chicken because it tastes good. And it's something that I like to eat. And I'm also really not the biggest seafood guy. So that kind of sucks because I really want to get into eating seafood. But every time I try to eat it, I don't like it. So uh, if you guys are like me in any way whatsoever, this smoothie right here is probably like one of my highlights of the day because it tastes so good. It is like the best berry smoothie I've ever had. And the best part about it, guys, it literally cost me $1.75 to make. So I can have this every single day. Instead of going to like some smoothie bar in a gym and spending like nine dollars for a smoothie this is a dollar 75 and it's less sugar in it it definitely is healthier for you because the berries are organic i don't know if they use organic berries at whatever places you go to but you have real organic foods going in your body you have less sugar it's only real pure sugar from the berries and you don't have any like artificial sweeteners and it's also really high in protein as well i probably have around like 50 grams of protein in this shake because it's 24 grams per scoop then there's a couple of grams of protein in the berry mix and there's like one or two grams of protein in the oat milk so it's like over 50 grams of protein which is too much for most people's bodies to digest unless if you're like 230 pounds plus, I would say. So in general, guys, this right here is one of the best smoothies I've ever had in my life. I have this every single day. I've been having this every day for like six months and I've noticed really good results, especially having the kale and the spinach because I don't really have that much vegetables either. So cheers. And that's all the food we eat in the day, guys. And before I finish off this video, there's one last thing that I wanna show you. So first of all, this is my current physique and this is the same exact day that you guys saw me recording at 186. I'm just gonna step back on the scale and keep in mind there's a camera in my hand. So. The camera's probably about two pounds, I would say. So it says I'm 183. So I've lost three pounds throughout the day just by simply eating clean and, and training and just working out. Like it's not really that hard, honestly. I think everybody can do this. Everybody can get into the routine of doing this. And honestly, guys, I just think that having a great routine is a key in any part of life. You guys could follow this exact diet to AT, especially if you have the similar taste buds that I have and you're really picky. Um, you could do exactly what I do and it works for me. But I highly encourage you guys take things from what I do and the routines that I have and apply them to your routines and build good and healthy habits because everything in life comes down to having a good 
healthy routine that you enjoy doing every day. And for me, I truly enjoy what I do every day. I love working out, I love eating good healthy foods, and I love playing competitive Call of Duty. It's just a dream life, honestly. And I highly recommend all of you guys go out and try to find that same dream as well. And I think for me, the gym has helped me so much with just staying focused on goals and just keeping my mind sharp. Uh, because as I've gotten older, I'm now 27 years old, I've learned so much about myself and I honestly believe that you can rip off my arms and my legs and just leave me with my brain and my thoughts and I'll still be happy. And I think a lot of that has to do with just constantly trying to be better and be the best version of myself that I could be. And anything that comes after that is a blessing. So that's really what I've learned throughout this 10 year experience of working out and also eating good healthy foods because I had moments, especially throughout quarantine, where I wasn't eating good healthy foods and it would make me feel worse about myself. And every now and then it's good. Like I said, I had some fried chicken last night and I don't regret it. Um, it's all about just making sure you stay mindful of what you're putting in your body and just making sure that you're mindful of having a good healthy balance because you need to be able to enjoy life as well. You wanna find that good balance and that's the best advice I can give you guys. So if you guys learned anything from this video, please leave a like, comment down below what you guys think. If you guys need any help with your diet, please tell me in the comments. I'll try to respond as many of you as possible. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all have a great rest of your day. I can't wait to wake up again and do it all tomorrow. It's been your boy Doug Sensomartin and I'm out guys. Peace.